So it hasn't even been a week yet since we ran our 10-2 at the drags and I have some exciting news. So we've already pulled the engine down. We've taken it down to the machine shop. Uh, we've had the bores honed and opened up so we could fit these larger pistons in. We've had the deck machined so it's flat. We've also had these head bolt threads drilled out so we can fit this larger stud in. The factory stud's actually nine millimeters and the one we're putting in there is out of a four AGE Corolla and it's an 11 mil thick stud. So that should clamp the head down a bit tighter. Here you can see the factory cams compared to the aftermarket um, big cams that we're gonna put into this build. Now these are a 282 duration cam. Um, there's a couple of mil extra lift there, which is gonna be good. One millimeter oversized Wiseco piston. These forged rods that you can see here are from the previous uh, forged engine I had in one of my old ones. We had some problems there with the other style pistons we were using, so we're gonna reuse these rods for this current engine now. Um, we're gonna replace the bearings, but there's one thing I wanted to show you real quick before I take the crankshaft down to the machine shop. So. The standard clearances is around about one foul. Now that's too tight. So I've got this plastic gauge here, which we can use to check the bearing clearances. And it's very important that you check all the clearances on the mains and on the rod caps and write down what your results are. So here you can see it's around about the one and a half foul mark. You know, standard varies from one foul to one and a half. It's too tight for especially running big boosted stuff. So first of all, we're gonna take the crank down to the shop and get them to machine the crank so we can have at least two thou clearance and about two and a half thou on the mains. And yeah, that should be plenty. Uh, we're just gonna get standard size bearings and put it all back together and see how it goes.